so i want to share something with you guys i want to share something with you that <laughs> most likely people will not teach you okay your pastors won't tell you this your teachers won't tell you this maybe your pastors have tried to say something similar but they still haven't told you the whole story i want to tell you something very important do you know how i was able to to heal very quickly after abuse so do you know how i did it do you know how i managed to heal very quickly after the after the narcissist do you even know why i decided to forgive the narcissist because me personally i was like um i have nothing to do with this person okay so when i figured it out and i knew what it was i detached I started healing and I forgave the person, okay? Until now, yes, even if we meet here and there, I'm like, okay, it's good that you're still alive, you know? You can still keep on going. And I'm really happy with myself because I've also done a lot of work on myself. Now, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Narcissism is a spirit, okay? Narcissism is a, uh, is a spirit. For you to be able to start on this healing process, you do not have to understand this, but you must understand this. For you to be able to start breaking these trauma bonds, all these cords that you have with these individuals, and to be free, you have got to get your mindset to understand this thing not understand it when you understand it then you're still on the 3d so you're still trying to to make sense of everything you know sometimes i've had sessions a few times and you know some people they're like i know where they're coming from because they're not yet at that consciousness okay but i'm trying to tell them that listen guys um you know you hear sometimes people how can my father do this how can my mother do this you know how can my wife do this and how can my husband do this? Ladies and gentlemen, the person that you're dealing with, they're the vessels. You see, for you to very quickly understand, let me help you, in, let me help you to understand this. Because I've told you guys, this whole narcissism thing is, uh, you've got to understand it. It's a few people understand it, okay? It's something on a different consciousness because this thing is spiritual so it is something which is on a, diff a different consciousness you need to be on a different frequency to figure it out let's say for example you guys have seen these the drones okay you've seen these movies sometimes even in the in reality there are these drones that are flying in different countries and you know they are throwing the bombs and everything now when that when that drone is in the war zone and it hits a, 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 a person's home okay and it hits somebody's home for example we're giving although these things have happened but we, we're putting this example the way it is so these drones have hit somebody's home okay and that person has lost their property they have lost their lives maybe they have lost their kids and a lot of pain has happened in that in that family probably now those people who have suffered the losses do they get angry at the drone or do they get angry at the pilot? I'm trying to get you guys, I'm trying to get you guys, for the most of you guys who are still struggling to heal, I'm trying to get you out of that consciousness of thinking that you're dealing with the body, you're dealing with the person. A drone has hit somebody's home, lives have been lost, they have lost their animals, their pets, belongings, everything. Those people, in case they are still alive okay so maybe they have been injured do they get angry at the drone because the drone has hit their house or do they get angry at the pilot because remember that these drones are being controlled somewhere else miles and miles away you know what i mean there's somebody somewhere sitting in, a, in their comfort zone so many miles away controlling these drones the pilots okay even if it's a plane, somebody driving the plane and they throw these missiles and whatever bombs and they hit certain cities or whatever, houses or whatever, properties. The people 
that have been hit do they get angry at the missiles or they get angry at the are they at the pilot who has actually ordered those missiles now you see ladies and gentlemen when you learn how to separate when you can learn how to separate the narcissist from the spirit you're going to be free let me repeat this for you one more time when you slowly slowly figure out and learn how to separate this narcissist from that spirit and you understand that okay so there is this body and then there's that spirit because you see one of the things you guys will also recognize so a lot of you guys have been through abuse you are usually going to see this spirit manifest during the devaluation stage so a lot of you guys who have been maybe not everybody has been blessed with these special eyes to see the unseen and to know the unknown but some of us who know what it is okay so a few of our, a few of the guys in this family we know already that this whole thing is spiritual okay so you will usually see that spirit manifest during the devaluation stage and that is when you're going to start questioning that relationship is when you're going to start understanding that there is something wrong with this person because during the devaluation stage the narcissist has got the capability and ability to manifest in so many different ways you might come around home one day they are crying and then in a few after two three seconds they start smiling all of a sudden then after they start they, they, they start shouting or not that then that then they're going to come down and say nothing you're going to see that spirit starting to manifest in so many different ways and that's when you're going to know that you're not dealing with a human being let me repeat this one more time in the devaluation stage the narcissist will manifest in so many different ways you are going to see them cry after two seconds they will be quiet then they'll be silent then they will be angry then they will go into rage then they will shout then they scream then in an instant they're eating something then after that they drop whatever they're eating then they're going to go smoke a cigarette after that they're going to go around drink a cup of water you are going to see that spirit manifesting how did i know this i did not see it in that time but when i went out after a few it took me like a couple of months okay then i then i remembered i said okay now i i, I figured out what the, what that thing was because in that time I was, I was trying to make sense of everything. I was trying to understand what is going on with this individual. What is happening with this person. I could not understand this. In that time I couldn't understand because I was not awakened yet. But you are going to see that spirit. When you remember the devaluation stage. You must you have most likely seen. Or sometimes it, it, it can also happen during the discard. So that spirit can manifest during the devaluation stage. It can manifest during the discard. It can also manifest during the rage, the narcissistic rage. You guys have been following me for a while. You know that I've been talking about these things, okay? That spirit will manifest. And sometimes that spirit manifests when you see the narcissist. It feels like they have stabbed you in the back. And now you're still hurting. You're crying or you're, still, you're trying to make sense of what has just happened. You're still in pain, in agony. And the narcissist is coming in front of you and they're asking you to sleep with them. Now they want sex in that time. Or most likely, they have caused you a very big uh, amount of pain, degree of pain. And then they come, they come back in the next few 10 seconds or 10 minutes or whatever. And they talk about something completely different. Like, they bring up a conversation like they have nothing has happened. They cannot even re recall what they have just told you in the few minutes ago. Most of the times, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. The moment you start waking up, for a lot of you guys empaths who are still trapped with these demons. The moment that you start waking up, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to be free. You're now going to start to understand on a very deep level what you've been dealing with. And ladies and gentlemen, it's not, this thing is not personal. Do you guys know the reason why... Narcissism is, is being hidden from a lot of us. So you not really you not really see a lot of this information out in schools. You know they're not teaching our children about narcissism. They're not teaching our even the, even our own leaders in church. They're not telling us when you go to church. They are passing these baskets for you to drop in the money, but they're not telling you the most dangerous thing on this universe, the narcissist. They're not telling you this. So what really is happening? 
it is hidden okay so this is something which is hidden in plain sight it is everywhere but nobody wants to talk about it okay because even sometimes in some cases your own leaders you know the people that you, you look up to your parents okay your girlfriends at home your whatever the people that are around you they're the problem and most of the time you don't even know this so it's usually hidden from the you know from the in plain sight because for some reason it is a few people who are aware of this okay so we, we, the moment when you are working and you figure out what you've been dealing with narcissistic abuse and then you look back you're going to find that a very few people are aware of this narcissist you know very few of them you can even see in your whole country a country of about 50 million people there's probably 100 people 150 people they are they are, they are just aware of this they only a few people have got this knowledge let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen if you have got knowledge on a narcissist and you understand who a narcissist is you are blessed if you have got that knowledge on narcissism you truly understand who a narcissist is ladies and gentlemen you're one of the chosen ones i did a video i made share that video within the link below i did that video before if god has opened you opened your eyes and you understand forget about these things we are talking about this personal so-called personality disorders and everything it's okay in that 3d in the physical reality it's okay you know i don't really want to go into the details but if you understand this thing to be spiritual you you understand what it is you're one of the chosen ones So those individuals, they are even more scared of you than you can imagine. They are very much afraid of you. You're, you have awakened. <laughs> they don't want to see you. They do not want anything to do with you. You have awakened, ladies and gentlemen, and you figured out these demons, they have nothing to do with you. They are going to walk the other way, walk this way. If there is something they have ever taken from you, they are going to return it immediately. Because they know what is going on. They know it's game over. Everything you need, they are going to give it to you without even asking. Because they do know it's game over. Okay? So for the most of you guys who are the empaths out there, they are, they are still trying to figure out these things. I understand that we are all at different levels of consciousness. Okay? So some of us have awakened. Some of us understand things. Some of you don't. Okay? So which is okay. At a certain point in time, everybody happens to awaken at their own time. Okay? When their time is right, they get to awaken and they can start to understand these things as well. But I've given you an example for you to better understand the thing that is going to help you get out of that consciousness. The narcissists. There is the body. And then there is the spirit. So the body it's like you know somebody sitting behind and they are controlling the drones i've told you about they are the, they are the ones driving the drones okay the drone will go left and go right go up or down okay shoot the bomb and everything so there is the body which is the vessel for these spirits to operate they need vessels on this unit on this plane they need vessels to operate now for them to be able to have the vessels they need they are going to usually use low vibrational people the people who are on a very low frequency so those are the people who have who have decided to participate in evil they are the ones who have been a part of this evil and they have made it their habit to live in sin so they have been killing they have been stealing they have been destroying they have been doing this ever since they have been a young age now obviously that kind of vessel is what the devil that is the kind of vessel that the devil, the devil needs so the devil will very quickly take over that person you know willing or willing or unwilling the devil will take over that person and now the devil will be the devil will be in charge of their souls so that's why i've told you guys many years ago i've told you that the nurses have sold their soul many many years ago even without knowing it so many years ago in the early days of their journey they have already sold their soul and this thing is irreversible. So it's the reason as to why you see so many times when people talk about the, these nurses and everything, people are, people are telling you that it's irreversible. There's nothing you can do. You can maintain, you can regulate, okay, so they can go to therapy, they can, you know, manage their narcissism and everything. But there is nothing you can do. You cannot heal them. Because this whole thing is, this whole thing is spiritual. It's irreversible. You know, you can deal with a mental patient. 
somebody who has got a mental disorder or whatever you can deal with them and give them some few tablets and medication and everything but you cannot heal this kind of individuals because the whole thing is spiritual so this kind of spiritual stuff and, and everything they're supposed to be handled in a spiritual way okay so there is no amount of science or amount of medics medicine or whatever can help them it's, it's not possible you know what i mean so for the most of you guys who are you are still in that consciousness i understand it takes time okay but if you want to get out of that consciousness to heal very very important for you to understand ladies and gentlemen the person that you're dealing with is simply the body okay there's the pilot behind that body is what is what is many times or something what you hear me talking about behind the veil so there is a pilot behind that body that is the spirit so the person has got no control whatsoever of themselves they are not in charge of themselves whatever they are doing whatever they are going is how to play they do not have any control over this and there's nothing they can do is why they tell you that most of the times those people they are going to be like that for the rest of their lives that is how they are going to live it is how their life is going to end i do not know personally if there's anybody who has recovered who has healed okay there is no any statistics statistics out there that a person has healed for has healed and ceased to be a narcissist if that has happened i would like to know about it in the comment section below so ladies and gentlemen this whole thing is consciousness okay you just need to be on a different consciousness to understand it. Stop asking yourself the question because you cannot you cannot really get the answers unless you get out of that consciousness of thinking that you are dealing with the body and forgetting that that body is simply the vessel, but behind that body there's a spirit. Okay, so let me not think about this video in the comment section below. You guys know that I do love and appreciate your support. Book a session, donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I'll catch you guys in my next one. There's a signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.